Hello everyone, welcome to this video on the network diagrams concept. This video is brought to you by Learning Made Easy Team, a team of IIM grads in association with our e-learning partner, GT Cube Get to the Top. If you are watching this video in the YouTube channel, make sure that you check out our full-length courses available for free at gtcube.com slash store, where you'll get to watch these videos as part of the course and also get to practice a lot of questions on these concepts. So let's get started. So one of the types of question that you get to see in network diagrams is the roads, road maps, where you, all you have to look for is different possibilities to reach the destination. Once you list out all the possible routes to complete the journey, then based on the given conditions, you can actually play around and complete the question. So let's look at a very straightforward and simple diagram to understand that. Let's say this is how three towns or cities are connected, A, B and C. So if my goal is to go from A to C, what are the possible routes I can take? I can go from A to C directly. Right? Or I can go from A to B and B to C. This is a longer route, but still this is a possible route as well. If I keep circling it, I can also say that I can go like A to B then B to A and then A to C and all of these long routes. But then let's assume these are not possible, right? You're not allowed to go back to A again or go in loops. So in that case, we still have two possible cases to complete the journey. So you have to be careful in that list the possible routes to do the or achieve the required goals. And then based on the given clues and conditions, you have to eliminate some and, you know, use the relevant ones to solve the question. So let's get to solve a question so that you understand that better. So this is a cat question actually 2003. So shown below is a layout of major streets in the city. So I have A, C, so these are all the roads connecting A, C. Only two days, Thursday and Friday are left for the campaigning before a major election and the city administration has received requests from five political parties for taking out their processions along the following routes. So Congress is planning to do it A to C, C to D and D to E. So BJP is A, B, D, E. So SP is A, B, C, E and BSP is B, C, E and CPM is A, C, D. They have given this. Then they have given us some conditions. Right. As I said, so these are the requirements. These are the goals of various stakeholders. The goal is that all the parties should be allowed to take out their procession once during the two days. The conditions are street BD cannot be used for such procession on a Thursday. So this road is blocked for Thursday, right? It cannot be used. The district administration has a policy of not allowing more than one procession to pass along the same street on the same day. So if Congress is doing the journey on one day, it's taking the routes AC, CD and DE. I cannot have CPM doing on the same day. Why? Because they also need the street AC. Congress also needs the street AC. And these conditions clearly say that the policy, the administration has a policy of not allowing more than one procession to pass along the same street on the same day. So they are bound to do it on different days. Right. So this is what the clues are. You can indeed solve it. It's an easier question. What we strongly recommend you is to pass the video and try to solve this question on your own. Once you have tried, then you can continue watching the video to see how we have approached this question. Hope you have passed it and tried. So let's see how we can solve. So the questions are this. Sorry for that. Uh, even if you would have figured out the entire schedule, you still need to see the questions to mark the answers. So you can definitely look at these as well. Now let's get to the solution part. We'll first get the schedule clear and then we can come back and answer these questions. So the question is the same. Uh, so what we have done is we have drawn a table. So we have five parties. So we have to just figure out who is doing on Thursday and who is doing on Friday. So first and foremost, this is my very good clue for me to get started. Street BD cannot be used for such a procession on Thursday. So look at which party needs BD. This party needs BD. There's only one party which needs BD. So that is BJP. So BJP cannot do it on Thursday. Why? Because street BD cannot be used for such a procession on Thursday. That means this is doing it on Friday. That is AB. DE is taken on Friday. Who else needs AB? Look at the list again. SP needs AB. 
So BJP has to do it on Friday. There is no other way to satisfy this condition that all parties should be allowed to take out their procession, right? That means BJP cannot do it on Thursday. They have to do it on Friday. So because they need BD on Friday, so they are obviously occupying AB as well and DE as well. Who else needs AB? SP needs AB. So they cannot do it on Friday because it's already taken up by BGP. So SP has to do it on Thursday. So who else needs DE? See if anyone else needs DE. Yes, Congress also needs DE, which is already taken up by BJP on Friday. So they have no other choice. Congress has to do it on Thursday only. And see, you don't see any clash here, right? AC is not taken up by SP. CD is not taken up by SP. And DE is not taken by SP. So it's fine. As of now, we have been able to you know, fill half of it. So obviously, they would not do it on Friday. So I'm only left with BSP and CPM to complete the journey. What about CPM? AC is something that they need and it's already done by Congress. It's taken by Congress. So they cannot do it on Thursday because AC is already filled by Congress on Thursday. So CPM has to do it on Friday. ACD, that street AC and CD is not taken by BJP on Friday. So no clash as of now. Let's come to BSP. BSP needs BC and CE. BC and CE is already taken by SP on this day. So, BS, uh, so I cannot do it. So they have to do it only on this day. Is there any clash here? No, right? BJP needs street AB, BD and DA, which is not required by BSP and BCE and ABD is not required by CPM. So no issues with that. So this is the final schedule where I'm agreeing with all the given conditions. All the parties are getting to do procession once. No issues with that. And there is only one possible case, which is this. I cannot schedule this in any other way. Right? Based on the given conditions, we have no other choice but to do it only in this way. So let's look at the questions. The Congress procession can be allowed only on Thursday, on Friday, or both days. The option D is saying only if the religious procession is cancelled. Right? So, is there a religious procession? Okay. Uh, Congress can do it on Thursday, right? So the answer is Thursday for it. They have to do it only on Thursday. They cannot do it on Friday on either of the days. So they can anyways do it. So I don't need anything like this. It's an irrelevant option. Which of the following is not true? Congress and SP can take out their processions on the same day. Is it true? Yes. Congress and SP. Sorry, SP are taking it on the same day. So this is definitely not a false statement cpm procession cannot be allowed on thursday which is again true cpm cannot do it on thursday they can do it on friday so that's again a correct statement so the question is asking for the incorrect statement so i cannot mark that bjp procession can only take place on friday which is again correct bjp can only take on friday they have to use bd which is blocked on thursday so there's no way and the congress and bsp can take out their processions on the same day Congress and BSP are doing it in different days, right? They are not doing it in the same day. So this is not a correct statement. So hence, option D is the incorrect statement which I need to select to mark the answer. Right? This is definitely an easier question. Right? But as I said, most of the network diagram questions on the roadmaps require you to just look at the possible routes available. And then based on the given conditions, rule out those some of the routes for particular entities like parties or vehicles or person people, whatever it is, and then mark the question. So all it requires is to just look at the list out the routes and then make sure that you map the correct available routes for the relevant people or the parties. So thank you for watching this video. If you're watching this video in the YouTube channel, make sure that you check out our full length courses available for free at gtcube.com slash store. Also like our partner's Facebook page, facebook.com slash gtcube3. If you're watching a video in the YouTube channel, also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the more for more content. Thank you and let's meet in the next video.